Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today we're gonna make some Falala Lama cards and we're gonna do it in two ways. One is a more serious Christian themed card and another is a silly llama card with this really cute set from Flora and Fauna. And you can see there's lots of different things you can use in different combinations, including that tree, which inspired me to make this little layout. And one of the things that I did, my nail polish, I rubbed it accidentally on my paper and I got that little red mark. But I thought I'd try my sand eraser and see if I can get it off. And this sand eraser, I wouldn't color over top of it once you start erasing with it. It's like really fine sandpaper-ish. It'll start messing with the surface of your paper so when your marker goes over it, it's going to get darker in that spot. However, if you do it in a spot where it's going to be white and you're just trying to remove some extra ink or an extra line, that sucker is invaluable. I've been using it quite a bit for a lot of things and it works on nail polish. How's about that? All right, so with my little scene, I wiped off the bottom of that building because I wanted to have sort of a lumpy horizon line because the, the stamp itself has a ho ho horizontal. Why can't I say the word horizontal today? Anyway, <laughs> has a horizontal line to it. And notice that the branches up on the top are the same as the trees on the left. I thought that would be kind of a fun twist to try to make them into a pine tree. And I'm gonna make a rainbow of really soft colors in the sky using all of the triple zero colors in rainbowish order. And I say rainbow-ish because everybody says rainbows don't begin with yellow, they're Roy G. Biv. And my rainbows always be begin with yellow because yellow is a thing to begin with. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm moving to my YRs and then my Rs. So if you think about you know, the rainbow, this will eventually give you that soft rainbow look all the way across the card. I find it easier to do multicolor blending with really light colors. It's harder to do with heavy colors. And notice that I'm just scribbling all different directions. That is mostly based on how wet my marker is. If it's really juicy, I can afford to do all kinds of crazy things with it. And there are some times where I'll go back over it with one of the original colors. So I might go back in and throw in more yellow in order to smooth something out if I don't have enough ink in one. So you have to kind of play around with it. But when it's really soft colors, you can't see a whole lot. So it's, it's a little bit more forgiving. So now we're up to the Vs, which is the violets, and then throw in some BV. And if you're still going, you can always get out there with your, your Bs and your BGs and just keep going with that rainbow look. But I wanted something that was going to be really soft for this. I thought it would be nice, especially in contrast to the second card that we're going to make. So we have two totally, completely different looks out of the same stamp set. I always like having the ability to do something totally different and crazy. The building, I wanted it to pop a little bit more, so I'm using some kind of skin tone colors in order to, to color it. And it's little minarets, is that what they are? I'm not sure what they are, but nonetheless, it reminds me of the Middle East. And that seems like a good thing for remembering that Jesus was born there. And so for a Christian type themed Christmas card, that, that would be appropriate. I'll just do a little bit more blending. And I did go over top of the building with some of those light colors when I was doing the background but it didn't matter because I was going to be covering it up with darker color. Same thing with this ornament. If you color it in darker colors, your yellow could go right over top of it and you wouldn't even notice it because it's so light. I got a little more into the detail here than I needed to because I wanted to make it look like it was dimensional. So I started trying to put shadows in on one side. And I thought that would be really cool. And that was kind of silly of me because I could have just taken a gray marker and gone over the whole thing to add some dimension to it and not done all that little specific stuff. But nonetheless, I decided to put a little bit of white pen on it to make a little highlight, a little bright, shiny highlight on it, and went in with my T4 to add that shadow on the left side anyway. Even though I'd gone to all the trouble of using three colors in those teeny tiny areas, which was rather silly of me. It felt like I needed a little bit of green here, but I'm not letting the green go out past the, the little branches because I didn't want to have to draw them. I didn't want them to look like they were drawn in. I just wanted it to look like it was just a little bit of color in there. 
Now here's the problem with doing really light backgrounds. If you want to do stars or snow or anything, it's really hard to do that because you can't see them on anything except for the dark trees. So guess what I did? I used my glossy accents. Glossy accents will make all kinds of beautiful snow things and it will be visible, especially if they tip it toward the light and once they see the card, they're going to. It's a little hard to see in a photograph that's just straight on, but I'll show you some angles so that you can see how cool it came out. I also just popped this front panel and uh, gave it a little bit of dimension as well. But look how, how beautiful that shines. It just gives you that little extra touch of detail. This is the panel that I popped and I cut it short so that I had this little edge here and I just put glossy accents along the edge of, of that panel. And I think it came out really sweet. Now here's another one that I thought I'd do with the llama itself and I I'm going to take the opportunity to show you a little something that you could do with the llama to color them in a couple different ways because there's a lot of different ways you can look at the drawing of this. You can either picture the whole thing as like his jumpsuit or you can make it a shirt. So I'm going to show you here as if I'm making it a shirt that he's got on. So I'm coloring his bottom end with a couple different grays along with the top. If you're gonna put snow on something that's a white llama, you want to have the color dark enough that it shows up. Just like on the other one, if I had used really light colors here, you wouldn't be able to see snow on top of it. But if I put lots of dark color here, then you'll be able to see snow. So I'm gonna color his little sweater with a couple of different reds. A uh, lot of the, the reds, the basic reds that I call the light reds, not the pinks, but the light reds are all, they all work about the same, so you don't need a million of them. But get yourself an R89 if you do a lot of Christmas coloring, and an R37. They work with all of the regular, you know, the R24s, etc., the R05s, all those different kinds of reds. Now here I'm adding, look at this, I'm adding on top of the gray, I'm adding red to make his little outfit a jumpsuit. So he's wearing a full on jumpsuit this time. And I could have just left it with the gray shading, but I decided I was going to add a little bit more of the R89 and the R37 so that it would match the front. But you can make it half a, half a thing, so he's wearing just a sweater on the top part of him, or you can add the whole jumpsuit. And then there's some people who will only decorate little hangly bobs on him and not really worry about making it look like a sweater anyway because I'm not sure why a llama with all its fur needs a sweater except that I'm going to make it snow all over this card and he's going to get cold and I want him to be nice and warm. I picked a couple different colors. You can do whatever kind of colors you want to make these pots work. The way I stamp them, it's just one pot in the stamp set. So I masked off just with a sticky note the top part of one pot and then stamp the next one at an angle and the next one and I stamp them low enough that they look like they're inside each other just so you know and then there's several plants in the set that you can put different succulents into a pot so now we've got the uh, browns done I'm going to throw in some greens and then I'm going to do a red pot and this would also be a cute card if you just did a whole row of red and green pots with different plants in them that would be a really cute Christmas card too well, there's lots of different things you can do with this set, but there you go. Another bonus idea just popped in my head as I was doing the voiceover here. So doing my little bit of shading, same colors as I used down below in the sweater or in the jumpsuit. This is going to be the llama with a jumpsuit card that's going to go down in history. Sandy made a llama wearing a jumpsuit. Yeah, whatever. If I'm going to be famous for a llama with a jumpsuit, then I'm okay with that. Anyway, I picked a color to make my background, and again, I picked a color that's dark enough. You could do it like a B00, but your snow's not going to show up nearly as well as if you put a really rich color in there. But I didn't want to do a dark blue because I wanted the Falala Lama to show up. Once I got all the color done, I used the new stitched, oh, what is the name of it? The stitched rectangle something something dies from MFT. I will be using those a lot on my cards. They give you a nice stitched edge. I will have a link in the doobly-doo if, if you want to find that set because it's pretty awesome. And what I started using was my Sharpie to make the snow dots. And notice that the snow dots show up 
but the places where I tried to put snow onto the different pots didn't show up all that well. This pen works better when it's dotting than when it's writing. But all I had to do was take a regular white pen, you can use a gel jelly roll pen, you can use a Signo pen, whatever kind of white pen works for you, and then just thicken up the snow and brighten it up. And then I added little dots onto his little outfit. All those little places where there's dots in the stamp. And to finish off the car, I just simply popped it up using some dimensional adhesive and threw it on a bit. nice card base. Simple to do, fun to color, and who doesn't like a llama on a card, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed getting two ideas in this video instead of just my normal one idea. And here's some more videos. If you want to see some more stuff, you can click through to the blog by clicking on the link in the doobly-doo if you want to go pin some pictures to your Pinterest page. And I will see you guys next time. Have a really awesome day. Thanks. Bye.